In this video, we will solve an example mass fraction problem. And if you want, you can pause the video here and attempt the problem. And so let's get started. So we have a mixture of 17 mole percent of N pentene, which is this, 63% of N hexene, and 20% N heptene. And we want to know the mass fraction in terms for pentene, hexene, and heptene. This is the first problem. So let's do it. So we have 17 mole percent of N pentene. So 17 mole of N pentene. So I'm going to assume a basis of 100 moles to make our lives a bit easy. And then we can say that uh, one mole is so C5H10. That would be uh, 70. 0.15 grams and so this right here is equal to 1192.6 um, it's going to be in grams so grams of n pentene so this is the first part next we need to do the same thing for 63 percent of n hexene so 63 mole of n hexene we know that uh, one mole contains 84.16 grams. We multiply it out, we get 5302.1 grams. Next, we do the same for N heptene, and we have 20 moles for uh, N heptene. We know that uh, one mole contains 98.2 grams. We multiply it out, we get 1964 grams. And so this whole thing, we, we need to add it up. And so that would be 8,458.6 grams. This is total uh, grams. And now it's the easy part. So we want mass fraction. Mass fraction would deal with grams, milligrams, kilograms. So we know each individual component and we know the total component. So now we can easily calculate it. So Xn uh, pentene, the X is pretty much just saying it's gonna be a mass fraction. So we have 1192.6, 1192.6, grams of n pentene so n pentene divided by the total grams for our uh, mixture so that's going to be 8458.6 uh, once we divide we would get 0 0.141 grams of n pentene per grams of the mixture so this is the first part of the answer. We just solved this. Now we need to do the exact same thing for hexene and heptene. So X and um, hexene, so equal, so we have 5302.1 divided by the total, which is the same. So 8,458.6, and that's gonna give us 0 0.627 of grams of N hexene divided by the total gram, total uh, mixture. So this right here is the uh, second answer. This, And now we need the last one, um, heptene. So we can say that Xn uh, heptene, and we know heptene was this number divided by total solution. So 1964 divided by this number, so 8,458.6, and that's gonna give us 0 0.232 grams of N heptene per grams of the uh, solution or mixture. So this right here was the first answer to our problem. But we also want to get what is the average molar mass of the mixture 
And if the flow rate of this mixture is 7 moles per second, what is the mass flow rate in terms of grams per second? So I'm going to scroll down to solve the next question, which is average molar mass of the mixture. So we want to get the average molar mass. And in the beginning of our problem, it says 17 mole percent of n-pentene, 63 mole percent of n-hexene, and 20 mole percent of n-heptene. And so we can say 17 divided by 100. And the molecular weight for n-pentene was 70.15 plus we do n-hexene we had 63 percent so 63 divided by 100 times 84.16 uh, molecular weight for n-hexene plus uh, 20 percent so 20 divided by 100 times 98.2 the molecular weight for n-pentene um, if we multiply everything out, we would get 84.6 grams per mole. And this right here is our average molar mass. So we just got the average molar mass. And lastly, we want to know the uh, flow rate in terms of grams per second if the flow rate of the mixture was 7 moles per second. So mass flow rate is equal to um, we it says seven moles per second times we simply multiply this number we simply multiply by the average molar mass and this would give us so 84.6 grams divided by moles moles cancel and we would get grams per second and so if we multiply this out we would get 592 grams per second and that's all we need to do for these uh, three problems.